Yeah, so my top three wins um, really have to do with weight loss. I've lost 20 pounds and um, went from, I was kind of a size six, eight in pants and um, have gone down to a solid four, sometimes a two, depending on the store. And, um, you know, I just really feel like myself again. Um, I was always lucky. I was pretty thin growing up, didn't really have to worry about what I was eating. But as I was getting into my 30s, you know, I was slowly gaining weight and just for years now haven't felt like me and had tried a lot of different things. But with intermittent fasting, it just felt easy and I feel so good about myself again. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, okay, so so weight loss, you feel more like yourself. Anything else? Um, How about any like, yeah, just, um, anything that doesn't have to do with weight loss, any uh, non-scale victories, like with energy I or guess, anything that you've noticed? Yeah, energy level. I think, you know, <laughs> I guess without eating during the day, <laughs> um, I don't get that after lunch slump. You know, I just can sure. feel a solid energy level all day. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what is your main or your like preferred intermittent fasting um, method or schedule, whether that be like I do primarily OMAD, I do a little bit of a hybrid, but OMAD or 16-8, what, what works best for you, Laura? Yeah, so I guess I fall into the OMAD category. Um, typically like a 20-hour fast, four-hour okay. eating window. Um, it kind of just happened um, because I'm a teacher. I do work a lot and I'm at sure. school just until, you know, maybe six o'clock at night. So it just kind of happened. It would basically be when I got home, then I would start eating and it kind of typically fell in a four hour window. So about like what time would that be that so you fast all day while you're at school, which I found was super easy when I was teaching, mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, you're so busy anyways, that yeah. it did not even bother me to have my black coffee and my tea and just go about my business and not even worry about lunch. Um, so when you get home, about what time do you break your fast? Um, I guess it's between maybe like 630, seven o'clock is when I would start eating um, and then just, you know, have that last, sure. I love iced tea. So I would be putting stevia in my iced tea during my eating window. Okay. Um, so just when that last sip of iced tea I had, or maybe a glass of wine. So, you know, that would typically be around like 10 o'clock at night before getting ready for bed. Awesome. Do you use a, um, a, a fasting tracker, like to track your fast at all or, an I app don't. Or... I just, I'm like a old school, maybe not too old school because it's on my phone, but the sure. notes app in my phone, I just have a note for each month and I just label it what week I'm on with my intermittent fasting. I write down my weight for that day and, um, you know, I calculate my eating window and my fasting window. That's just how I keep track of it. That's a really great tip. And I, I think, for a lot of people, myself included, I'm not very techie. So mm -hmm. you have to just find what works for you. And I, mm -hmm. I mean, I have Google Docs up the you up the yin yang. Like I have so <laughs> many Google Docs, but that's just like my thing. And mm -hmm. I also I take screenshots to remind myself of maybe a recipe or something like that mm -hmm. um, that I want to try and <laughs> yeah. go back. I'm not so good about cleaning them out, but I'm going to work on that. Mm -hmm. um, but I just I think that's that's just super important to find, you know, whether it's, you know, a tech savvy thing or whatever, um, something super simple, like, like you just said in your notes app to mm -hmm. figure out what works best for you. So, um, so what would you say is your biggest challenge with intermittent fasting? Um, it's funny. I don't really have a challenge in the actual fasting, but it's when, um, people have asked me about it. I feel like some people can be very judgmental. Um, yes. I had a friend and I was at an event and I was eating, you know, it was during my eating window 
And I do make exceptions. You know, if I'm going to go for brunch with a friend, of course, I'm going to eat brunch. Absolutely. Um, but it just kind of came up in conversation like, oh, Laura's lost a lot of weight. And, and I don't really like talking about it, but all eyes were on me. And I started to share about intermittent fasting. And one of my friends, who I consider a good friend, was like, oh, well, of course you're losing weight. You're eating like a toddler. And I was just like. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that one. I've heard some good ones. That's it. Wow. Okay. You know? <laughs> and it felt, yeah, I was so upset. And it does make me not really want to talk about it because mm -hmm. I feel like I am met with judgment from a lot of people. If, if people ask and I can tell they're genuinely interested, I we'll start to tell them. And I'm like, you know, I can talk about this all day. Like if, you know, let me know, I kind of mm -hmm. leave it in their court, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I had the same thing. I mean, I really struggled with the comments for, you know, eight, 10 months, probably the first year. And um, it made me sort of bashful about talking about it to other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, these were, like you said, good friends and family members who, well, of course you're going to lose weight. You're starving yourself. You're, mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, it just got to the point where I, I backed off until I just kind of let them see that I was actually, <laughs> they could see I was actually eating a lot mm -hmm. and enjoying my life. And, um, you know, it was, it was something it's just hard for people, I think, a lot of times to to say, oh, my gosh. And that's what they always say. Oh, my gosh, you go 20 hours without mm -hmm. eating. I mean, that's mind blowing to people. Mm -hmm. So, but all right. So let's talk about um, your eating and your fasting windows. Let's let's start with uh, fasting hours. So we know you fast in generally in the in the evening. Oh, I'm sorry. You fast all day until mm -hmm. um, you open your eating window. So what like clean, do you fast clean basically as far yeah. as um, yeah, fast not clean. putting any? Okay, great. So mm -hmm. what um, drinks, clean drinks do you enjoy while you're fasting, like at school, at work, whatever? Mm -hmm. um, so this might be the crazy part to a lot of people. I really <laughs> only drink green tea all day. Ooh, that's that's awesome. it. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker. I have okay. tried many times over the years. I even tried again doing the intermittent fasting and I just really do not like the taste of coffee at all. Really? So um, yeah, green tea. I, I go with decaf green tea. I'm not really sure why, but that's what I do. Um, every now and again, I think from your tips, I've tried the sparkling water mm -hmm. and um, not a fan. Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's okay. okay. But I, I think it. I'm I'm good with the green tea. So So um, the green tea all day. It, that is awesome because not only does it have, you know, tons of amazing benefits, health benefits, um, and it does help, you know, with weight loss and things like that. But another thing that people don't really realize about green tea is it really helps with freshen your breath. Um, like it has okay. properties. So, and especially when you're fasting, I don't know if you've gotten kind of like that metallic, like when your body goes into ketosis and all that, I'm not going to go into all mm -hmm. the science of it because I don't totally understand it myself. But um, if you're, str that's one of my big tips for people too, when they say, oh, my breath is bad from this fasting and it happens. Oh, it, it mm -hmm. has been something I really <laughs> struggled with. Green tea is one of the best uh, drinks that you can have to, to fight against that. So that's really awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I've been worried about the breath that I've asked my, my fiance a few times and he's like, no, you're good. So <laughs> I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's doing it. But. So um, I know this might seem like a silly question too, but do you have the green tea hot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I actually, it's really strange. I don't know how I figured this out, but when I was um, first trying to, you know, kind of experiment with different fast, clean fasting drinks, I put the sparkling mineral water with the green tea oh, and had okay. it cold in it. It is super duper good. Like, okay, I absolutely try love that. It. So, um, yeah, I generally do that, you know, a couple times a week too during my my fasting hour. So, um, okay, so let's move to the fun part: the eating. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you? What kinds of foods do you? I, I mean, are you a vegetarian? What types of meals do you enjoy? What do you like eating during your eating window? 
Sure. Um, I'm a, a regular meat eater and right. um, I have to admit I'm a pretty basic eater. Um, so typically <laughs> I just, I've always just kind of enjoyed like, you know, throwing chicken in the oven, salmon, steak. So I'm no chef, um, but it's just kind of sticking with those few proteins and having vegetables. Sure. Broccoli is my go-to. So my, yeah, my typical dinner is usually salmon and broccoli, chicken and broccoli. Um, if I want to get a little crazy or I'm really lazy, I'll just throw like some chicken pieces in a bowl with like salsa and guacamole. Um, so I do stay away from carbs as much as I can. Um, it's okay. typically protein and, and veggies um, for okay. my dinner. Sure. Um, sometimes, you know, if I get home from work and I know I don't have time to cook right away, but I'm really hungry, mm -hmm. my snack, a lot of times I'll just quickly make some scrambled eggs. Um, also, my kind of what I feel is a real treat is one a tip I got from you because I okay. have always loved chips, like chips. Yeah. And dip. That is my thing. So I have given my up. husband too. <laughs> I'm, not that Give I never up. have chips, yeah. but I switch it with pork rinds. Um, yes. That, yeah. Love them. It's and amazing, I, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love to have, uh, we have taco salad a lot. And instead okay. of the tortilla chips, I crumble some of the, they have like jalapeno ones and a bunch uh, of different okay, flavors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I crumble those on top to get the, the crunch in the taco salad. So oh, that's a good oh, idea. Oh, so what, do you like just the plain one, pork rinds or? There's no uh, carbs. Yes, There's really my, little carbs. Mm -hmm. My favorite is um, a, a salt and pepper one. Oh, um, I've seen that. Oh, I yeah, seen it though. yeah, okay. that's my favorite. It's like oh. called Southern Country Recipe. I think that's what it's called. That's my okay. favorite. It's got a, a good crunch. <laughs> Ooh, yummy! Oh, good tip. All right. Yeah, I think I um, we make those. Um, I have it um, on my recipe site. It's the pork rind. Uh, chicken nachos my husband okay. that's what my, he loves nachos so and like I said I was trying to break him of the the mm -hmm. chips and you know all of that so we we make that quite often okay um, so what what do you typically uh like to break your fast with so that first v bite of food after you've been fasting all day what do you do Sure. So for at a long time at the beginning, the first few months when I was doing mm -hmm. this, I was very religious with your fasting break, uh, the, fasting apple, drink that you the apple cider created. Vinegar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I did find um, from my, you know, tracking of everything. Yeah. There was two weeks early on that I had lost like three pounds, four pounds when I started using your drink. I was blown away. Um, I got I away crazy. from it. Did, yeah, did, you, did you like it? I mean, I first, did. It was definitely yeah, bad. like spicy. It had a kick it's spicy. to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. But yeah, I liked it. What were you and, mixing it with? Like the sparkling mineral water? Yes. I think yeah. your favorite is like the ginger lime. I that? like lime and ginger and mm -hmm. lemon. Lemon. Yeah. Is my yeah. Favorite. So typically those, um, yeah, just lemon, just lime, that kind okay. of. Yeah. Taste. Fruity stuff. Mm -hmm. I find it tastes, Oh, not so good, but, okay. um, and the regular water, I can't do it. It's terrible. Yeah. I don't know how it changes the taste so drastically, but for some reason it does. So, mm -hmm. so I'm sorry. Did you say you, so now you've kind of gotten away from that. Yeah, I think what was happening was it would take me probably a good half hour to drink the drink. Yeah. Um, and there were days I was getting home and I was like, I need to eat right now. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's so kind of how that happened. Now, mm -hmm. are you making the the cubes up ahead of time? Or um, it's... You know what? I never did. I went out. Okay. I even bought um, what you recommended to make yeah. it in the like. Um, what oh, is the, the molds, the silicone yeah. molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah. have it and I just never made it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's my, that's my tip. I uh, go at the beginning of the month and I make mm -hmm. up a whole batch for the whole month so that you can just pop them right out of the, um, the freezer. And then all you have mm -hmm. to do is add the sparkling mineral water because it's already it already has the lemon yeah. juice, it has the spices and the the brag okay. of the cider vinegar. So. I think I do want to get back to it, especially now that it's summer for me, and 
I've got my wedding coming up, so I wouldn't mind, yeah, you know, trying to absolutely. I do a couple more really, pounds. I have to say, I, I was tracking too, and it it makes a difference. So, mm -hmm. um, so how about when you closing your eating window, when you're ready to say so long, I'm ready to stop eating and enter into uh, my next fasting window. What do you like? You know, do you have a healthy dessert or anything that you enjoy kind of closing that up with? Um, or ending nothing, with? yeah, nothing special really. It's okay. just like I was saying earlier, just usually the last sips of what I'm drinking. Um, I'm not a huge dessert person, but sometimes I do get into kicks where, um, you know, I'll have a little bit of ice cream or even like some peppermint patties. So, uh, you oh, know, good. I think that's what I do love about the fasting too, that you can still eat what you want within reason. Um, you yeah, know, and so. not feel deprived. And yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. I think that was, that's for me by far one of the the best benefits because every fad diet and crazy diet I went on, I just felt so deprived. Mm -hmm. And I never, I mean, I do not end my eating window feeling hungry at all. I just feel completely satisfied. No. So. Oh, actually one thing I did, yeah. I do have sometimes if I am getting ready for bed and I still feel like hungry, you yeah. recommended those bars. I forget. Um, oh, you mean the keto, the, the keto, the, or the coconut fat bombs? The um, No, they're ones I buy. The, oh. the think, the think, think keto. Yeah, think keto. Mm -hmm. I like those. Oh, yes. The, yeah. They have a bunch mm -hmm. of flavors that are really good. The thing I like about those is I've noticed um, like with some of the kind of bars that have the uh, kind of the sugars that are artificial sugars, mm -hmm. um, kind of like erythritol or whatever. Um, with these, it doesn't have as much in there or something because some of those make me, oh, they make me a little mm. gassy and they give me okay. a, kind of a stomach ache. Um, mm -hmm. But the Think Keto ones, do, do not do that. They yeah. have a great like fla flavor to them. And so, yeah, those are really nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. So, so what is, here's a big question. I don't know if you know this, but what is your absolute longest fast that you've ever done? Oh, um, almost, or was it 24 hours? And it wasn't even on purpose. I think I was so okay. busy. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. I was so busy. You know, I came home from work and started doing stuff and yeah, I think it turned into a 24 hour fast. Awesome. Oh, that's really good. So mm -hmm. many benefits after that. All right. Mm -hmm. So Laura, do you, do you exercise? And um, like, if you do, what, what are kind of your favorite ways to, to stay active? So I hate to admit this, um, but I no. don't really exercise. Um, wow. You're yeah. one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, have, I want to. I have slowed way down uh, since I've been in like weight maintenance, and it's just because I'm I'm busier, and also I feel like I'm I'm getting older. But um, so you don't exercise really at all, but you, I'm sure you. Well, as a teacher, you're exercising. I know <laughs> right. that, especially because my room was at the total opposite end of the school. So, I mean, you're back and forth mm -hmm. and back and forth. So, and as a teacher, and anybody out there who's listening, you know, teachers yeah. are so, 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 so busy. So, exactly. Um, well, no, that's, that's, that works. And yeah. I have found that, I mean, I know for decades, I thought, okay, I can exercise this weight off. And, no matter how much I exercised, it just, it was, it was maybe, maybe small wins here and there. And so I do believe it has so much more to do um, with our, our eating habits and, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So yeah, that is another thing I love about, about intermittent fasting, because even if you don't get much exercise, you really can see uh, awesome results. So mm -hmm. All right. Well, Laura, we are almost ready to wrap things up. So I would like you to end with your shiniest gem. So what would you say is your very best intermittent fasting tip for success that you can leave our listeners with today? Oh, that's a big question. Um, 
I guess for me, it was, and I know this might not totally be easy all the time, but it was a real mindset shift that I made that this is a lifestyle, not a diet. Um, So I think that's just something, if people are going to try this, they really need to think about it like that. And as you and I both, like we've over the years tried so many things and I was always looking for the quick fix. Um, You know, when I would try something new, if I didn't lose five pounds in that first week, I was like, well, this isn't working. (laughs) And then I would just like completely throw it out the window. And I remember after meeting you and deciding that I was going to do this because that was like the end of July we met and I started this and I, yeah, last summer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I told myself, okay, you're going to do this until Christmas. Like just that's what you're going to do. And so then I think once I was doing it, you know, for a few weeks, it really did just feel like, oh, this is what I do now. Um, You know, so this is coming up on a year later and this is, this is what I do, you know? It's your lifestyle. I know it is. It's so freeing, isn't it? Like Mm -hmm. I just, and um, I, I love that, you know, once you kind of, like you said, you have to make that you have to make that mind mind shift, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and mindset shift in your brain to know, okay, this really is how I can live the rest of my life. And it's a lifestyle. And um, I don't know, it is, like I said, I, I say it a million times, but it's not having to worry. I like on that vacation we were on, you know, mm-hmm. I am able to enjoy myself and enjoy the food and the drinks and it's a cruise. So you're eating mm-hmm. and you're drinking a lot, yeah. but to know that all I have to do is get back on track when I get back with my intermittent fasting schedule mm-hmm. and, you know, and then you're right back where you were and, and you don't feel guilty and you feel mm-hmm. great on vacation. And so yeah, it's it's wonderful. Well, Laura, thank you so much for chatting with me today. And I honestly, you are an intermittent fasting rock star. I have had so much fun. And I also want to say a big congratulations to you because I heard that you got engaged and you have a wedding coming up soon as August yes. 10th. Uh, yeah, oh, August 10th. Mm-hmm. So excited. What's your uh, fiance's name? Dan. Dan and I won't start a big thing, but I'm wondering how supportive is he with the fasting? Very. So funny enough, um, he was like keto intermittent oh, faster from when really? I met him. Yes, and I was one of those people <laughs> that was a little judgy. Oh well, it's okay. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, and so after I met you and told him all about it, he's like. I know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think I'm really going to like Dan. We got to go on another cruise together soon. 